Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, July 30th, 2014. And I'm starting this off rather late. Of course, I can't find the time, but it is rather, it's later than I would normally start. So you guys, of course, are going to see this a lot later. Uh, there is a good, a very important reason why I'm starting this off late. Pop and I were having a conversation downstairs. It started off light enough, and I don't even know how we got, we talked about this. But Pop and I were having a conversation. It's right there. A conversation of, you know, we were having the talk of when I'll be on my own and he'll be gone. And uh, he, he settled, he settled my fears a little bit, you know, he settled them down. He said, we're going to have to have more, not that he's sick or anything, you know, thank God. Um, he did have colon cancer at one point, but he is in remission. So thankfully, you know, but it's a talk that, I can't even discuss it without choking up. <clears throat> it's the talk. And nobody likes to have the talk because you think your parents are going to live forever. And you know that's not the case. So that's the reason why I started the video late. Anyway. Um, lips of the day. Let's, let's just get on with that because whew, right there, I'm telling you, it's right there. And I don't want it to be. I don't want this to be a sad video or anything of any kind. But, you know, it's a talk that we have to have. Okay, so here we go. You cannot miss them. You can't miss them. I am in love with this color. It reminds me of Rebel, Mac Rebel. And it also reminds me of the Wet n Wild uh, Sugar Plum Fairy. But this one's a little darker than Sugar Plum Fairy. Sugar Plum Fairy has a little bit more red to it. But let me start with the liner, as I always do. NYX Deep Purple. Lined. And filled. Now, you know I'm doing all the lipsticks that came from my last haulage, right? I'm still, still doing that, people. Uh, this one is the Malibu Girl. And this is in the color Purple Rain. Do you love it? You hear the song, right? I know I hear it. 169 Purple Rain. And this is Purple Rain. Look at that. Look at this loveliness. Can you see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? I love these kind of purples that have reds in them. Oh, it's just divine. It's just divine. And... That's it. Just lovely. Love the shade. I've been just doing this all damn day. You would think it would be drying because it's a, It's pretty much, I don't know if anybody knows the, the line Malibu Girl. I looked them up. They do have a website. But I've never heard of them before. But um, it's the, the lipstick has, it says with aloe vera and vitamin E. So this was not drying at all. But I kept reapplying because I want to spray. Um, you can't tell me nothing. Okay, so that is lips of the day. Can we talk about? Oh, Deb reminded me. My girl Deb, we are like this. You, Deb, you and I are like this. She reminded me ever since. Well, Monday I didn't make the videos. She reminded me on Tuesday that I never spoke about my cousin's weekend from Saturday when we had we got together and we went to go see Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Honey, I can't wait until that movie comes on DVD. It's mine. That was an amazing movie. It, it, it's just, it's a great, great movie. For the times that we are in now. It is a great, 
great. The special effects are phenomenal. And you can see the movie in 3D too, but we did not see it in 3D. I went to a movie theater that I have never gone to ever in my life. It was my first time going. It was my cousin's idea. Obviously, Eric, he went before. These chairs recline. I was like, what? These chairs recline. Push the button on the side and the feet come up like a regular reclining chair. I mean, I was in my element. You couldn't tell me a damn thing. The only thing we didn't do was have popcorn because we ate. At least my, um, Eric and I ate because he got there first. I got there right after him and then we had to wait for Tracy, his sister. Um, she was with their dad at, back at the house. So she had to get a lift from the dad and you know, some the older dads get, they work a little slower. So she, we had to wait for her. So um, while we were waiting, Eric, he was already munching. He was like not waiting for any damn person. He was hungry, he ate. And then I saw him eat and I was like, damn, that looked kind of good. So then I, I had some food. And then by the time she came, it was pretty much almost time for the movie to start. So she, here's what we did. She went to the Arby's and put the Arby sandwich in my bag. So when we went into the movie theater, she could eat her Arby's in the, in the movie theater. Thankfully it didn't stink or anything. So yeah, I was an accomplice. I was a forced accomplice. So the movie was awesome. We didn't, obviously, we didn't go out to eat afterwards because we had already eaten. So it was goodbye. And I'm not going to see Tracy again until next year because that's usually, she comes, she stays for a few weeks. And then before you know it, because in August, they start school. I was like, what? But yeah, in August, they start school in Florida. So... She had to, she's going back this Saturday, as a matter of fact, but we're not going to have time to see each other again. So we, the three of us always make sure every time she comes, every summer, the three of us, it's just the three of us. I like it when it's just the three of us. We go, we check, we go for dinner or we go for lunch and then we go to a movie. It may be on the same day. It may be two separate days. We did it two separate days this time. We went and had lunch at On the Border a few weeks before and then last weekend we went to see rise of the planet of the apes that movie is phenomenal i have to get the first one the one with james franco that was last year or two years ago i have to i have to get these movies now the original planet of the apes the 1960s movie the one that, the first one came out in 1968 and i was four years old but I had seen the movie when I was about, well, I wasn't four. It came out in, maybe the, I don't know. I think the movies came out in the 60s. But I didn't see them until I was about nine or ten. Or maybe seven or eight when, I, when we first moved into the house. That was back in 1972. So that's when the original Planet of the Apes came out. And the makeup back then was out of this world. I mean, the makeup, they looked like real apes. You got to take it back. You got to take it back. I know there's a lot of you who, I mean, weren't even, you don't even understand the decade I'm talking about. You don't even understand. But the makeup back then was out of this world. But now we have special effects and we have, you know, it's the, these apes look so real but you know they're not real but they look real it's just it's phenomenal it's 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 absolutely phenomenal Andy Serkis who portrays the lead ape in the first one with James Franco Caesar and in the second one this one Caesar also he does a phenomenal job Andy Serkis came into, you know, being known as a character actor because 
you, you never really see him on the screen as the person. He's always portraying a character. Like in The Lord of the Rings, he's Gollum. He does the voice and the whole, all the movements that you see Gollum doing is him doing all of that. So Andy is, he's just, he's just phenomenal. And he's done six Gollums. Six Gollums? From The Lord of the Rings to The Two Towers to Fellowship of the Ring to The Hobbit to The Hobbit, um, Desolation of Smog, and the, the, the very last one, which is coming out this December. And I don't even know the name of that one. It's, it's, it's you know, it, it, we had a good time. Let me just put it that way. Okay, so that takes care of the Cousins Weekend. Um, as for Sunday, remember, I, it was supposed to be a two-day, it was a two-day filled weekend. Well, Caroline, partner in crime, she canceled on Sunday. So I didn't, I, Sunday was just like a regular day for me. I did my laundry and all of that. And that's basically it. Sunday was just, you know, once she canceled, I was like, okay. I was, I was devastated because I haven't seen her in a stone's age. But uh, hopefully we'll get together before the end of this year. It, we just are having a tough time getting together. So, you know, that takes care of that. So Sunday was just a regular Sunday for me. However, this upcoming Sunday, I'm going to meet my man Jackson Galaxy over at the North Shore Animal League because he will be having like a talk about cats, of course. And um, I guess I should get his book, right? So he can autograph it. Because I'm going to meet my other friend, Melissa. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet up there. And uh, she said she got the book today. I have to get the book at least by Friday. <sighs> well, tomorrow's payday. But I don't even know if I'm going to have enough money. Issues. Um, bills and issues. What the hell? You would think he'd know where to step by now. Because... And he just muffining up my, my pillows like it's the first time he's ever... Look at him. From one to the other. He can't make up his mind which one is more comfortable. Anyway. Jackson Galaxy, honey. My cat from hell. The only disappointment is he's already married. See, he got married before he met me. Okay. So... When he does meet me, and I do say when, because I do plan on getting that man's photograph and a picture with him, uh, he will have realized, oh, I might have made a mistake. This was the one I should have married. I can dream, okay? Y'all need to stop laughing. I can, I can hear you from here. Y'all need to stop it. So I'm very excited about this upcoming Sunday. As for this Saturday... I don't have any plans, but I don't know if I'm going to have money to do this. So we shall see. Yeah, this 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 paycheck, this particular pay period is kind of tough on me because things are crept up on me that I didn't see coming. But thankfully, tomorrow is payday. So, okay. So that takes care of Sunday. Now, can we talk about, can we talk about the Real Housewives of New York reunion part one? The person who is the most delusional, delusional, she really is. Kristen hit it right on the nose because Sonia, it, 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 it almost makes me pity her and, and feel sorry for her. Because she's in a world where if you can't keep up with the Joneses, then you are persona non grata after a while. That's just how the rich work. That's just, you know, they have their own circle. And if one person in that circle, you know, starts to lose money or their reputation starts to decline, the door gets closed on them and you are persona non grata. So I can understand why she lives in the delusional world that she lives in because she has to keep up for appearance's sake. 
Her world is crumbling around her, just like Ramona said. Her world is crumbling around her. She had to sell her house in France, and she had to do this, that, and the other, and she may be losing the house in the city. But she has to constantly keep talking to herself, about herself, for herself. So she puts out there that, you know, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong. So she starts making up these businesses that she's, she's got a sneaker business, her oven business, which we're all still waiting for to see where the, the oven is going to come into play. She's got all of these things in, in the works, but no one sees any of them. No one sees anything. So I, I was almost, I almost really kind of felt sorry for her. I really did. But Aviva, Please don't let her be in next season's Real Housewives of New York. Andy Cohen, if for any reason you are watching this video, please don't have her in next season. Because this chick, nobody, nobody likes her. The only person that was sitting on Aviva's side was Ramona. It was just Ramona and Aviva. That's it. Was there somebody sitting in between them? No, I don't think so. All the other women were sitting on the other sofa. That was Luann, Carol, Heather, and Kristen. They were all sitting on the other sofa. It was just Ramona and Aviva. Because it would have just been pathetic to have Aviva sit by herself. So, And Ramona claims that they're friends now. I guess Aviva has one friend. But, um, yeah. It got a little nasty. It's going to get nastier in part two next next um, Tuesday oh, off he goes and he's gone so yeah the Real Housewives reunion was it was a trip it was a trip and of course I watched my tyrant last night if anybody's watching tyrant it's on FX at 10 o'clock on Tuesday nights that show is the ish it's rather risque but it is the ish so there you have it. That's all I have for you people. That's it. Um, you know, back to what Pop and I were discussing. Um, yeah, I have to really start saving money. Like I can't, I can't, I can't be on the the roller coaster of balls and stuff. I keep saying that, and then I do, but I have to remember that a I'm not in my twenties anymore. YouTube and the life of YouTube is a young, a young man's game, a young woman's game, you know, young people. It's a different generation. And I enjoy doing YouTube videos. Don't, don't get it twisted. It's not like I'm saying I'm going to stop doing videos, but I can't do, I can't hop on the haulage thing anymore because I really have to start saving for myself because when pop does go and God help me, please don't let it happen anytime soon. Eons and eons away. Um, I have to be financially secure. And at the age of 50, I can honestly say I'm, I'm, I am and I'm not. I think I'm more so on the not than I am. So I have to stop the nonsense. I have to stop the madness. And I have enough. I have enough. They're, they're in my entire, the rest of my life, I will never be able to use all of the things that I have. So when I, when it's time for me to go, somebody's going to hit pay dirt with, with their makeup. It, they, they, all they have to do is clean it out and use it for themselves. It's as simple as that. But I really have to really start, you know, really start. I'm not going to, you know, completely cut myself off. You can't do that. That That's depriving yourself. I'm not going to deprive myself. But I think I will just stick with the birthday and Christmas. And then that's it. Let's not do the in-between and ooh, I saw. and <sighs> let's, let's not do any of that. But I was looking at Googling. And, you know, I'm coming into my own at the age of 50 and all of this. And, you know, realizing that I am 50. I am 50. I'm not 25 anymore. I'm not 20. I'm not 18. I'm 50. And even though I'd like to say that I don't look 50, 
And sometimes I don't even act 50. What the hell is 50 supposed to act like anyway? I don't know. I was Googling. This is what I was Googling in Google Images. Makeup or no. Lipstick for women 50 and over or over 50. And you know, all the images come out, the celebrities and all of this. And there's no color. There's no color. Like after a certain age, a woman has to tone down the makeup look. She has to get more, you know, back to na back to nature kind of a thing. You have to look more natural. You have to, you know, you can't do the heavy lipsticks anymore. You can't do the heavy lip, you know, facial makeup anymore. And I was like, that is so not me. I can't just get rid of all of the, the colors that I've been dealing with. Like, if you look at 50 and over images, you will see that, that well, mostly Caucasian women have very light lipstick, very light blush. You know, they have makeup on. You can tell they have makeup on. You can tell they have mascara and a little eyeliner and everything. But there's no color. Like, they have the natural looking lips and the natural looking blush. And I'm like, for real? So you just did after a certain age? You can't you can't play with a, a nice red or you can't play with a nice hot pink because those are supposed to be the young colors. But when you come to a, a, a woman of a certain age... You have to, like, eliminate all of that. Like, your party days are over. I'm sorry. I'm going to go kicking and screaming with some color. That is just me. I cannot get rid of all of my... And then just deal with the pastels. That's it. It just becomes a pastel world. The pastel. Pastel lips. Pastel eyeshadow. Pastel cheeks. Like, you know. Boring. I'm not a boring kind of a person. At least I'd like to think I'm not a boring kind of a person. And, like, the makeup that I'm wearing now, it's not my age. It's not for a woman's, a, a woman of a certain age. I'm not supposed to be wearing this bright purple or, you know, magenta color or whatever you want to call it. I can't be wearing the bright reds. I can't be wearing... Who says? Who says? To hell with all of that, okay? And there, and there was a blog. I think it was called The Can Do's and the Can Don'ts. The Can'ts, the Can's and the can yeah, I think it was The Can Do's and the Can Don'ts. And it was a woman who was of a certain age. I think she was in around, you know, either 45, 47, 50, somewhere around there. And she had a blog. And she was talking about this very same thing, like... You know, after you hit a certain age, you're not supposed to do this and you're not supposed to do that. And, and um, you're not supposed to, you know, go brawless and all of this. She was like, excuse me. She was with her husband. There's a story that she tells about her husband and her were going out to dinner. And of course, you know, women of a certain age, we go through the whole menopausal and the hot and the so she went out with her husband and she was wearing very nice clothing. She wasn't like outrageous or anything, but she wasn't wearing a bra. So in this restaurant that they were in, she took off her jacket and, you know, she started to fan herself. And the man with his wife or whatever got quite the eyeful because, you know, she was moving around and, you know, she, she had no bra on. And she was like, well, you know what? At her age, she said, at my age, him gawking at me like that, I'm going to take it as a compliment. She didn't even see it as an insult or rude or what. She was like, okay, if he wants to get a good gander, let him get a gander. I'll think of it as a compliment. And I was like, you know what? Yes. Because when you hit 50, when you hit 40, you, you're into your own. You're into yourself. But when you hit 50, it's one of those I have lived and I don't give a damn about whatever, what, whatever come what may. That's really the attitude that I have now. I never thought I'd have an attitude like that. Because in my 20s, oh, honey, the lipstick had to match, the pants had to match. That's the 20s thing. That's what you're supposed to do. But when you get older, and I don't know what, it, what it's like to get married, but on my own, I'm 50. I'm loving, I'm loving it. I, I, I love the fact that I'm 50. 
I'm, I'm thankful that I've reached this age and I'm not going to give up all my colors. I'm not going to turn into a flat face. Ew. No. No, no. I'm wearing my goth lipstick. I'm wearing my black lipstick. I'm going to be wearing my hot reds. I'm going to be wearing my bright oranges. Orange. But you, you know what I mean. I'm not giving up on the color. I'm not giving up on my blushes. I'm not. No. No, no. The only time I'll be giving them up, like I said, is when they close the lid on my box. That's when I'll just, that's when I'll give up. But in the meantime, nope. So if a woman of a certain age, such as myself, is not supposed, well, I guess I'm breaking all the rules then. Makeup police come and arrest me because I'm not following the, can, the, the do's and don'ts of a certain age. I'm not wearing my makeup clownish. You know, I'm not no Tammy Faye Baker. I know some of y'all may not even know who she is. Google Tammy Faye Baker. You'll see and understand the makeup I'm talking about. That woman wore it like a clown. Not me. So that's what I wanted to share with you because I was I was quite, you know, I was quite curious to see, well, what kind of makeup should a woman of my age start to wear or, or you know, should be wearing at my age? And when I didn't see any color and everything was so bland and, you know, the nude lip and the not so much blush and no color, no fun, no vitality whatsoever. I was like, oh, I'm not going out like that. No, not me. At least not now. So maybe later on in life when I hit 60, talk to me in 10 years. We'll see what happens. Okay. On that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Honey, this, this, this is the ish. Malibu girl in purple rain. The ish. Amazon. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. I love my YouTube family. Bye now.